Hey everybody, welcome to another Goody Reader exclusive video tutorial. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we're going to check out the N2A micro SD card for the Barnes & Noble Nook tablet. What this does in essence is you put it in your Nook tablet and it'll load up uh, a version of Android that will allow you to access the Google Android market, custom install apps, change the layout. It'll basically give you a traditional Google Android experience without voiding your warranty. Normally people will root their devices which is a very complicated procedure and it's sort of beyond your average user. The benefit of this is you put the card in, you get a completely different Android experience, you take the card out and you're back to the Barnes & Noble Nook tablet experience. So from start to finish we're going to show you exactly what you do. Right now our Nook tablet is off and we recommend to have it off uh, for putting this in. So we're going to unbox it, put it in and go from there. Alright so they're kind enough to have these little snaps, include these snaps instead of one of those plastic things that you end up cutting yourself trying to open. It uh, shows you here what you need to do and we'll show you this as well so um, you'll see you open up the flap put it in turn it on and away you go pretty simple huh let's see how it's done oh there we go <laughs> alright so we're going to crack this case open there's your SD card 16 gig we're gonna open up the flap on the back we're going to insert the SD card um, letters facing out oh is it this things it's a sticky one there we go close that now we're going to press the power button on the top left if you've never put in a micro SD card into your Nook before, you'll hear an, an audible little click, click and that is sort of, that gives you an indication that it's firmly in the place. So once we do that, we're just simply powering it on. You see splash screen here, which, let, which basically lets you know that it is actually working right now and it's going through the boot up process. What it's doing is it's booting an Android operating system directly from your micro SD card. So any apps that you'll basically install, you'll be able to uh, save them right to the micro SD. Now this flickering uh, isn't a result of the card or uh, a, a malfunctioning device. This is strictly because the Hertz specifically on the um, the Nook tablet, Nook color, don't really react with the camera too well. So that's why you are getting this kind of flickering. But I assure you, um, it, it is completely fine. So you see here, uh, we have... A custom load here so we're gonna undo it and you will see that there you go you have a full Android experience and hopefully we can uh, orient this so we can zoom it on in here landscape mode and there you go look at all the preloaded stuff you have on the home screen yeah you have um you know, Dolphin, you have your Angry Birds. The good thing about this is you have your full Google ecosystem. So like Play Music, Playbooks, uh, the Android Market, as well as Easy Uninstaller, and a ton of other things. Um, with this, you can actually add like your custom widgets. You can add like um, different uh, app loaders and things like that. People are, are pretty happy with that. Um, you can see here is like your settings menu. Uh, you will see here that it is 2.3.7, and uh, this is the one. This is the operating system that N2A Cards has uh, provided for you. Now, I'd like everyone to note this isn't rooting your device. You're not. You're not dumping the stock firmware and putting on a custom mod. You're not replacing it. This is just a temporary. Um, just a temporary alternate alternate boot that you can choose to use if you wanted to do things that the Barnes and Noble originally wouldn't allow you to do. Yeah, the the prime benefits of here is it, it gives you a little bit more freedom to deal with other ecosystems. If you buy a Nook tablet, you're locked into buying books from just from Barnes and Noble. 
Uh, you can buy books from other stores, but you have to go through complicated procedures to use Adobe Digital Editions and things like that. With this, you can download the, an OverDrive app and borrow books right from the library. You could install, as you can see, the Kindle app here and do business directly with Amazon. You can install our own Goodie Reader app store to download other apps. So you can get that at goodyreader.com slash apps. But you could also use Eldico and FB Reader to load in your own um, books that you download from the internet and have like a bit of a different um you know experience in terms of your library shelf and things like that so in essence this gives you a, a tremendous uh, amount of freedom to be able to do things and access different um app stores that you could normally do on a nook tablet now just to show you um that this does not influence your Nook tablet at all, what we're gonna do is power this down. We're gonna take the card out and then power it back on just so you guys know that this um, basically does not influence the Nook tablet for the stock firmware. So we're just gonna exactly. quickly power it off. And mm -hmm. what you want to do is if you want to boot up this to get this version of Android, you have to boot it up with the SD card in. If you want to um, load the stock Barnes & Noble Nook tablet uh, software, all you have to do is boot it with the SD card out and you're good to go. It's small. Make sure you don't lose it. And this is really why you have that sort of small plastic uh, holder that N2A cards uh, provided. So we've taken the SD card out. You will see there's nothing in there. And we're going to power this on. And there's the default uh, Barnes & Noble splash screen. And it's going to do its thing. It, it pretty well loads fairly fast. So there you go. The Read Forever has showed up, indicating you do have the stock Barnes & Noble firmware on this because everything that we showed you before is safely on this card that does not void your warranty, doesn't change the firmware, doesn't do anything. You just put this aside and anytime you want to use Android 2.3.7 mod, you put in the card. Anytime you want to use the original firmware uh, and the original Barnes & Noble operating system, just start it up as per usual. And there you go, you're back to the original um, Barnes & Noble uh, experience. Yeah, so I would definitely recommend this over rooting your device or, you know, loading in like the Psy mods and all that other stuff. I mean, f even for me, I, I don't like doing that because I always find I ended up like screwing my devices up because I'm, I'm fairly impatient. This SD card or micro SD card is like the perfect solution for people like me with little to no patience or for other people that really don't have a lot of uh, techno uh, aptitude. So you can uh, get these through our website at at shoppyreaders.com or you could also get them at n2acards.com uh, as well so this has just been a quick tutorial on exactly from start to finish how you use this as well as we throw in our own thoughts as always so uh, for more videos check out our youtube channel youtube.com slash goody reader you can leave a comment on this video if you have anything insightful to say uh, you can also check out our news website at goodyreader.com and for goody reader my name is michael this is peter everybody take care Thank you.